My name is Farouk Elbaz. I am the retired director of the Center for Remote Sensing at Boston University. So President Nixon sent a letter to all the agencies of the US government and asked them if they know of anything that will ease the relationship uh, between the US and Arab countries, they, maybe they should do. One of these letters went to uh, NASA and the people at NASA knew me and the director of NASA said, well, send them Farouk. He can talk to them in Arabic. And therefore I became the one that's being sent by the State Department to visit the Gulf states. That was the first meeting with the Sheikh Zayed and Sultan Abdelayan. I had, had taken with me a map of the moon that has the names of uh, great Arab uh, scientists of the past, like Al-Bairuni, al Batani, all kinds of names like that. And I had taken with me a uh, recording of the uh, greetings from Apollo Mission 15 in Arabic, where Alfred Warden, Apollo Mission crew member, who said from the moon, Marhaban Ahl al-Ard min endeavor ilaykum salam, which translates into Hello Earth, greetings from Endeavor. And the second time came shortly thereafter in 1975. After the Apollo ended uh, in 1972, one of the astronauts of the Apollo mission 15, James Erwin, had decided to make a tour in the Arab uh, countries. And of course, I was there with him to help him. And I went with him to meet with uh, Sheikh Zayed. I had given uh, Sheikh Zayed a picture of the moon. It's a kind of a unique picture that showed the lunar surface with all kinds of craters and so on, and then the black sky around the moon, and then the crescent Earth, because from the back side of the moon, you look at the sky and you can see the Earth. And in that specific place, it was just like a, a, a hilal, just like a crescent. I pointed to the hilal and said, what's this? And he said, the moon? I said, no, that's the Earth. He said, ah, so it depends. Where are you looking from? which was a very thoughtful statement. The third time really was more of a setting. It took nearly a whole hour <laughs> because I had three astronauts of the Apollo Soyuz mission. And NASA had given us a model of the space shuttle, the missions to be. And the space shuttle had not been made yet. That was just an idea. So we took that model with us and the astronauts gifted it to Sheikh Zayed. And then Sheikh Zayed began to ask questions. How is this going to be launched? And where would the astronauts be? And how does such... And the astronauts immediately started explaining to him every single aspect of the future space shuttle mission. Of course, I am translating that in, into Arabic for him all the time. And it was really a, a very interesting uh, session because of the fact that uh, they came out, they said, what an intelligent man. Indeed, he was a very intelligent man, and he asked very uh, good questions that they had never been asked by any other head of state on, from the ones that they had met. I was really uh, privileged of knowing so many people at all kinds of levels in the UAE, not only the, uh, the ruling family members, but also people working in, in colleges and universities and then schools, and then the young pe people themselves, because I've made all kinds of lectures everywhere. And there is no question in my mind that the people of the UAE are among them. The best they have dealt with in the Arab world, they are very much uh, similar to the people in the United States in, in that they want to see new things. They are not afraid of doing something new. They are willing to try things everywhere. And they are very impressed by knowledge. And technical knowledge is, is something that they really approve of and they want to get it. So uh, this is something that is common between the UAE people and the people of the United States. Thank you.